Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the prime factorization of 100. So we are breaking 100 down into its prime factors, the prime numbers that multiply to equal 100. So looking at 100, we need to start breaking this down by thinking of two factors, two numbers that multiply to give us 100. Well, 2 and 50 are factors of 100. 2 times 50 equals 100. So let's break 100 down into 2 and 50. Now keep in mind, there are other factors we could have started with here. For example, 4 and 25. And there are other options as well. These will all work. Depending on the number, there can be multiple different factors that we can use. So there can be multiple ways that we can do these. But in the end, we will get to the same prime numbers. And that's what's important. Now let's continue to break this down. We have 2 and 50. Now 2 is a prime number. So we are done here. We can't break that down any further. So let's circle 2 to show that we have a prime number. Now 50, on the other hand, is a composite number. We can break 50 down further. So let's think of factors. Well, 5 and 10 are factors of 50. So let's break 50 down into 5 and 10. Now 5 is a prime number, so we are done here. We can't break that down any further. 10 is a composite number. We can break 10 down. So let's think of factors. Well, 2 and 5 are factors of 10. 2 times 5 equals 10. So let's break 10 down into 2 and 5. Both 2 and 5 are prime numbers. So we are done here and here. And that's the prime factorization of 100. We don't have anything else that we can break down any further. We have all prime numbers. So let's write this out as 100 equals, and then we can write out our prime factors in order from least to greatest, and we are multiplying them. So we start with 2 times 2. We have two twos times 5 times 5. So we have two fives as well. If we have the correct prime numbers, they will multiply to equal our original number. So let's check here. 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 is 20, times 5 is 100. So we are correct here. So there you have it. There's the prime factorization of 100. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.